Holy crap, Moon Knight is out. I am super pumped for Moon Knight. I have no idea what it is. Never, never heard of it uh, up until like three weeks ago. Oscar Isaac's in it. It's a superhero thing. It's on Disney Plus. It's a show. MCU. As someone that knows absolutely nothing about this character, the trailer did very little to win me over. Here's the thing I took away from my one watch of this. Oscar Isaac plays someone that's got narcolepsy. He's having a hard time getting to sleep. He's seeing visions of this character who I assume is Moon Knight. I'm, I'm just guessing. Looks kind of like a mummy to me, like a mummy superhero. Then there's Ethan Hawke who's in this as well. I like Ethan Hawke. He, he looks almost homeless in this. Really got a, a decrepit looking hairstyle. Um, he's doing a bit of a Loki impression at one point in the park. People are bowing down to him. That's fine. The trailer ends with a really soft rendition of the Batman where he's punching that guy multiple times, but it doesn't have any impact to it. It's almost in slow motion. The song Day and Night by Kid Cudi is accompanying this trailer. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. Maybe he's doing a bit of a Ghost Rider thing, walking between both worlds. He can kind of shape shift into this character when needed, or maybe just when there's a a full moon, since it's called Moon Knight. Like, uh, kind of a werewolf situation. I'd say these are stupid guesses to be having, but what I'm trying to accomplish right now is to show you that I'm a naive moviegoer slash TV show viewer in the MCU, and this character means nothing to me, and I would assume it doesn't mean anything to 90% of the people that are gonna be watching this trailer. So you have to win us over. And as far as I'm concerned, it didn't. It looks somewhat interesting. And since I certainly haven't walked away from the MCU, I've watched all the shows and the movies to date, I will give this a chance. But first impressions are incredibly lackluster. I didn't see much for action. I didn't see a lot of crazy cool special effects. You know, like cinematography looks fine. There's a couple shots that look pretty fakey where he's falling, the green screen was pretty bad there. I don't know. I guess, you know, we'll check it out. But I'm watching Peacemaker right now, and man, that's like on a whole other level. I'd love to hear from you, though. Let me know in the comments why I'm dead wrong, and this is going to be the best MCU offering yet. If you're, Especially if you're a fan of the comic book series. You, you have, obviously, a lot more knowledge to glean than I do. Feel free to like the video if you had a little bit of entertainment out of it. Subscribe if you haven't. I post movie content each and every week, and hopefully I'll see you around. Patreon. You can find me. I'm on Patreon. I'm not going to keep going. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You can also join right here on YouTube via the join button if you like what I'm doing. Maybe say, Adam, here's a dollar a month. Here's five bucks. Keep doing it, man. Keep going. Because if you want the definitive review of Moon Knight in the future, who better to talk about it than a guy that knows absolutely nothing about the character? Subscribe.